Hi, welcome to QML Code Reload in Practice and how to get more productive with QML Hot Reload. My name is Alex Leutkup and I'm one of the founders and the CTO of Felgo. Felgo is one of the leading Qt companies worldwide. We work in two areas. First, the professional services as official Qt service partner and we also offer own development products like the Felgo SDK, which adds additional APIs and tooling on top of Qt. And one of those tools is QML Hot Reload, which I also want to talk about today. So let's have a quick look at the agenda. First of all, I talk about challenges of UI and UX design to give you an idea why QML Code Reload is so important. And that's the second topic then. I introduce Code Reload for QML. And I show some live demos afterward. And finally, I want to wrap up with Code Reload features and use cases. If there are any questions during my presentation, please type those in the chat box and I will answer there. So let's get started. Let's start with UI and UX design. Creating a product with a great user experience is hard. That's because user experience is subjective. Subjective to your users, subjective um, to your customer. A beautiful design does not ensure that you have a great user experience in your product, but you need to work on it. But moreover, maintaining and improving a good user experience is even more harder because it's an ongoing process. But why is it that way? First of all, testing your user experience requires deployment on real devices and the delivery to stakeholders. So for example, you need to build and provide a USB drive with an installable image for each new iteration of your product. You need to provide those to your QA department and other stakeholders. Also, there is a big overhead because requirements and user behavior change constantly. So for example, if you find out about a misbehaving button in a certain scenario, you might need to change the behavior of all of your buttons. This means small adaptations and iterations take up a lot of time already. And finally, if you're working as a remote team or your customers are abroad, communication is getting even harder for all those UX topics. So what we see, the nature of UI and UX development leads to a lot of lost time while iterating and communicating. We therefore need the right tools to make UI and UX development more efficient. And this brings me back to development. Let's assume you have some UX review tickets assigned in your current sprint. With a classical development process, um, you adapt your code, you save the changes, you compile and build the code, then you deploy um, your product to a test environment, and then you test it. And given the results, you start over again. You code again, you save, compile, deploy, and test again, and so on, and so on. So let's look at those two specific steps at the bottom here, the compile and the deploy steps. Those are the steps where you are not actively working on an issue, but wait until they are finished. And this can take time, depending on the project size, from a few seconds up to multiple minutes. And moreover, you might test the multiple devices in parallel. And also, you perform those steps like 100 times a day. So you see this multiplies and it sums up and it steals your productive time working on code. So what if you can skip those two steps? And that's exactly what Code Reload does. With Code Reload, changes in code can be applied automatically to a running program without build, package, or deploy steps. There is no manual restart of the application required, and changes applied in seconds. So this is perfect for fast user interface building and iterating on UI and UX code. And best of all, Code Reload might be well known for web languages, but it's also perfectly suited for developing with QML and JavaScript. So Code Reload can save hours during development by removing the waiting times for building and deploying your code. Let's have a look at existing Code Reload tools out there. First, I want to introduce QML Preview. QML Preview is known from the Qt Automotive suite, but it's now also integrated right into Qt Design Studio and Qt Creator. In Qt Creator, you can start it from the build menu, as shown in that slide. QML Preview reloads the entire QML tree on every change in a QML or JavaScript file, so you don't need to worry about recompiling your code anymore. Let's have a quick look at the demo. 
Assume we have this project with a swipe view, showing two pages. One is red and one is yellow. We open QML preview from the build menu. It quickly compiles and opens the preview. And what we see is our swipe view with the red and the yellow page. And now I can change, for example, the color of the red rectangle to blue, as blue and yellow are my favorite colors right now. What we see is it instantly applies. Let's also change the yellow page. Let's make the font size a bit bigger, let's say from 20 to 30 pixels. And it applied, great, and probably also change the text. Change it from page 2 to q 12 submit. And swiping over to the yellow page again, and it shows our changed text. Okay, that's great. This is only a small project, but it already looks like a big time saver here. We only noticed one issue though. Every time I change something on the yellow page, the app reloads with the blue page. So my application state gets lost. And this might be fine for that example, but it can get really annoying for bigger projects. So let's enter hot reload. Similar to code reload, hot reload applies your changes in code instantly. But instead of reloading the entire QML code, hot reload only applies individual changes and keeps the existing QML items and their states alive. So hot reload applies code changes without losing the current application state and the context exactly what we want to have. And this brings me to the second tool I want to introduce, Hot Reload with Felgo Live. As already stated, Felgo Live supports Hot Reload, so it preserves the state when applying changes. Furthermore, Felgo Live is not only available for desktop, but you can connect multiple test devices at once. And it supports all Qt supported platforms. So on this slide we see, for example, a desktop client and a mobile client, uh, but you can also connect your embedded devices, your embedded boards, and so on and so on. And this also means that it is fully cross-platform, so you can test code from Windows on an Android iOS embedded device without installing a native toolchain for those platforms, so really handy. And last but not least, it's a standalone tool, so it integrates with your favorite IDE. There is, for example, a Visual Studio Code extension in the marketplace, but you can also use the Qt Creator plugin or just start it from your yeah, Windows Explorer and use it from there. So let's have a look how Hot Reload looks with our existing example. Here is our project again with the Kim Elb review, but this time we additionally open Falgo Live. You can open Falgo Live with that green Live button over here. This opens two windows. First of all, the Falco Live server and the Falco Live client. The Live server connects the clients. You can see the log output of each individual connected device and change the settings for a device here. The Live client is application preview. We now connected the desktop preview, but you can also connect other platforms in parallel, as mentioned. Here you see that I connected an Android device, for example, and an iPhone device recently. And we can now work on our yellow page again. Probably change the text again and apply it. And what we see is that it applies on the yellow page um, in comparison to the QML preview. Let's switch to the blue page again. Let's also change the text size back to 20 and apply it. And again, we see Falgo Live instantly applied the change while the QML preview reloaded the entire QML tree. Felga Live also works with custom C++ code and additional QML modules. We can switch to a more complex application, the Messenger Style app. This project includes the Felgo QML library as an example, and we can again change our code. Let's not only change existing properties this time, but add a new property. For example, for acute branding of the app. So we add that property and apply it to the overall tint color of our app. And we see the preview in real time again. 
We now saw the desktop preview, but we can also check out an additional platform. With Qt for WebAssembly, it is possible to run Qt applications in the browser. So why stop with Hot Reload here? In the live server, you find the tab Web Client, and clicking it opens your app in your browser, and that parallel to your desktop preview. If we now change code, we see that the change also applies to all open clients. So for example, changing the color here again to a Felgo orange applies to both your web client and your desktop client. And you see your preview even in your browser. And this also works with embedded targets or your mobile phones, as already mentioned. It's a really great feature to test in parallel. So to sum it up, QML code reload saves a lot of time and Hot Reload saves even more. I want to wrap up with more use cases for Code Reload. Initially, I talked about UX development. And the great thing with Code Reload is that it's not limited to development, but you can even use it for your remote review meetings. And this is how our professional services team is actually doing review meetings with our customers. First of all, we jump on a call and share our screen um, with the IDE, a preview, and gather feedback on, on current working items. And here, Hot Reload already allows us to iterate and show small changes in real time, which is really great. Additionally, everyone on the call with a test device can connect and also see those changes applied in real time. This allows to test different things out, and it makes decisions instantly possible during the meeting. In the end, you get direct feedback, you can polish on things, and you can make decisions, all in a single remote meeting. Those were two use cases for QML Code Reload, like the development and the review meetings for remote teams. But there are plenty of those. If you're in em embedded development and create modern interfaces for applications like car navigation systems or for medical devices, Hot Reload is for you. You just build and deploy your business logic once and then reload your changes in real time. This saves a lot of time without compiling and deploying over and over again. Well, let's look into mobile and desktop development. Here you can test on multiple platforms and devices with different screen resolutions or aspect ratios in parallel. This helps to get your responsive design right from the very beginning. And there is even more, so if you're interested in Hot Reload, please reach out to us at felgo.com. And that brings me to the end of my talk. Thank you for your time and hope to talk to you soon in person again.